Hello, my name is Michael Robbins, and I believe that the most important international relations issue um, has to do with the Arab Spring and sort of the um, effects and the aftermath that we have seen um, with regard to um, all these democratic uprisings and how they have affected not just the northern African nations um, in the Middle East, but also with regard to the European Union and the European nations, as well as the United States. Uh, the Arab Spring started in 2010 in Tunisia and led its way into Libya and Morocco and Egypt um, and Yemen and now Syria. Uh, the biggest issue with the Arab Spring is that while it is great that there has been this awakening of democratic movements and the, the this sort of enlightenment that democracy is possible in these nations, there are also a lot of consequences and a lot of issues going on uh, today with the Arab Spring and with these nations one of which is you have a huge migrant population trying to seek refuge across Europe uh, and other different nations and they're really struggling um, especially with the politics of citizenship in these nations um, as well as with their own identity um, there's an identity crisis there um, another huge issue as a result of the Arab Spring which brings it on such a, a, a massive international scale is that you have the birth of these new terror organizations who fundamentally don't accept um, democracy and see the Arab Spring as this kind of an invasion of Western ideals into their world and they completely reject that and they cite their own terror as a means of trying to get rid of that. Um, so that is a huge issue there. How this all directly affects me um, is mainly through social media and talking about these issues with friends and sort of dealing uh, with the common um, misinformation that you get from people um, on these controversial issues of whether the United States should be involved um, in the Middle East and Northern Africa still um, and whether or not it's, it's worth it, uh, whether we should be moving toward renewable energy and whether we should shy away from fossil fuels and not be dependent on foreign oil. Um, I think that this is an extremely pressing issue also because you have these um, nations trying to introduce democracy, which also uh, means introducing free trade and free markets in these countries. And I think in the case of Tunisia and some of the Northern African nations, you can really instill um, this, the, these, these markets and kind of put them on a global platform um, where they can do a lot of good. and. I think that this is it's an extremely worthy endeavor um, and I think that in the long run um, I think that some of these nations will be successful in democracy and some won't and uh, I think that's that's about as as good as you can that's about as good as you can hope for uh, at this point um, so that really concludes uh, my argument as to why this is the most pressing issue um, and I hope you enjoyed thanks